the James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. As joyous as we are about the JWST, it's also completely reshaping our understanding of space as we know it. From rewriting history to discovering galaxies beyond our wildest dreams, with scientists panicking and wondering if everything we've believed has been a lie, we need to revisit history to get a better understanding. The advanced James Webb Telescope is relaying pictures to Earth that show the universe in a completely new light. But first, let's catch up on the hypothesis that's making everyone break a sweat. It's time we embark on a journey back in time. This time, we're going back to the birth of the universe. The Big Bang hypothesis is a thrilling scientific theory. According to the widely accepted theory, the universe originated as an intensely hot and dense point more than 13.7 billion years ago. What then transformed the cosmos into what it is today? Consider the cosmos as a newborn, growing over 90 times during its first growth spurt after being born from a single point. The universe cooled as it expanded and matter began to form. When electrons joined nuclei to create atoms, the universe then went through a miraculous process known as recombination and it turned transparent. Next came the Dark Ages, a time of obscurity before stars and galaxies appeared. Then there was a period of reionization, nearly 150 to 400 million years later, and the Age of Darkness ended. Fast forward 9 billion years after the first burst of life from a singular hot point and we have the universe we see today. So what discovery has shaken our core understanding of the world that Michio is astounded by too? It takes a lot of work to create a galaxy, and the cosmos took almost 350 million years to create the first ones. The first ones that came into being were super small, and they took their sweet time to become the mammoth-sized ones we know today. So basically, the universe we see today started millions and millions of years later and began as dwarf galaxies. But get this, six old galaxies have been found that defy all the laws. Apparently, they are thought to have formed immediately 500 million years after the Big Bang. And that's not all. They contain tens or even hundreds of millions of stars. Michio Kaku, an American theoretical physicist, is equally perplexed by this revolutionary discovery that has the potential to alter all that we know about the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. The $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope, which NASA launched in December 2021, has discovered six massive galaxies that are about the same size as our own Milky Way. These galaxies were created far too early in the universe's history. What's even more perplexing is that some cosmic objects contain stars that are not just a few times as massive as our sun, but billions of times more massive. It's strange to think that these enormous galaxies have been hidden until now. You see, the images obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope are contradicting some of the predictions made by the Big Bang hypothesis. These stellar and clear images of a world beyond our own show more galaxies than expected, with surprising smoothness, size, and age. The unexpected number of galaxies suggests that the early universe was more complex than previously thought, and that galaxy formation happened much earlier than expected. What's more puzzling is that the galaxies appear smoother than expected, suggesting that the universe was more uniform in its early stages. The team of researchers who chanced upon this discovery have given these new galaxies a fitting name. These galaxies have been given the moniker Universe Breakers. If they are real, it will be necessary to reevaluate our entire knowledge of galaxy creation. This finding might put some cosmological fundamentals in doubt, so get ready for some fascinating new cosmic discoveries. Now, the discovery of these new galaxies tells us that they may have sprung into life somewhere in the Dark Ages. 
That information alone disrupts what we've believed and have been taught. Thanks to the hard work of dedicated scientists, we are discovering that the Dark Ages may not have been as dark as we once believed. What's most intriguing is that these large galaxies, forming so soon after the Big Bang, raise the exciting possibility that star formation began far earlier than we ever thought possible. This discovery has the potential to fundamentally change our understanding of cosmology, challenging everything we thought we knew about the early universe. It's no secret that there has been dissatisfaction with the standard model, which begins with the Big Bang. It began ever since it was proposed by George Lemaitre nearly a century ago, but no one expected the JWST to contribute to the ongoing debate. Turns out, the Institute for Art and Ideas sponsored a How the Light Gets In festival in London in September 2022. The festival included a debate on cosmology and the big bust, featuring philosopher of science Bjorn Ekberg, Yale astrophysicist Priyamvada Natarajan, and Eric Lerner, the author of The Big Bang Never Happened. The debate was premised on the Big Bang theory's dependence on the inflation hypothesis, that at the outset, the universe expanded many orders of magnitude faster than the speed of light. However, experiments have failed to prove evidence of cosmic inflation, and since the theory's inception, it has been beset by deep puzzles. One of its founders, Paul Steinhardt, has denounced the theory as mistaken and scientifically meaningless. The debate seeks to explore whether it is time to give up on the Big Bang altogether and seek a radical alternative. Now, these images by JWST are doing just that, offsetting and shaking up all our core beliefs. Before the JWST, it was tough for astronomers to study the formation of galactic clusters like the Coma Cluster because the light from these clusters was stretched out and moved down the electromagnetic spectrum due to the expansion of the universe. But the JWST is designed to see the universe in infrared, allowing us to finally explore the missing pieces of the galactic evolution puzzle. Thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, we already have a handful of proto-clusters in the early universe to study with the JWST, but the real magic will happen when the JWST teams up with the forthcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope in 2027. This wide field survey mission will observe the cosmos in high resolution infrared, capturing a field of view 200 times greater than that of Hubble in a single shot. With these two telescopes working together, we'll be able to map dark matter, fill in the timeline of the universe's early development, and make amazing discoveries that were once only dreams. The team of scientists studying these protoclusters is already blown away by the JWST's capabilities. With a 100% spectroscopic confirmation rate, they've already demonstrated the incredible potential for this technology to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. The research has been published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, so if you want to read the nitty-gritty details yourself, you know where to find it. As the successor to Hubble and the James Webb Telescope, Roman represents the next step in humanity's quest to explore the cosmos. So get ready to embark on a thrilling adventure through the depths of space and time with the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope as your guide.